It's integrated math three practice test for ten ready. TCAP, I guess. We're in subpart two, so you can use a calculator. Won't need it here though. Question number thirteen. A sample for a sociologist study is composed of people who were chosen randomly from shoppers at five different malls in a city. So at least they went to lots of different places. I don't even know any cities that have five malls anymore unless you count those outdoor things. Which population can this group of people represent? Now, the thing is, when you're doing a sampling, your, sam your results are limited to the depth and breadth, I guess, of your sample size. You may have a friend that's like, oh, I can't get a date with anybody. And you realize that that person has never asked anyone out. That's why they can't get a date. They're like, nobody will go out with me. Who knows? Maybe you just haven't asked enough people. It's all about the numbers, folks. So maybe you should question. Uh, you hear them going, oh, I can't get anybody to go out with me. Tell them to change their sampling method, and they may find uh, they get better results. Anyway, or worse results, I guess. Anyway, so we're locked in by the sample uh, in the city, and we're locked in by the fact they went to five different malls. So let's look and see what populations it might represent. Uh, by the way, our population would be the larger group instead of just the smaller group of the sample. So A, residents of the city who live near the mall. Uh, it would cover that, I guess, but not necessarily, because some people who live near the mall don't go near it. I know a lot of people who live near near the mall where we are, and they wouldn't go set foot in there, because it's one of those malls that are slowly dying. Anyway, B, residents of the state who live near the mall. Again, why would that be a good representation of the entire state, unless your state happens to be one city? I guess if you would in some weird universe consider Washington DC its own state, like if it became the 51st state then that could be accurate maybe, but it's not here. C. Residents of the city who like to shop at malls. That's pretty good. They're at the mall so you would think that they they may like to shop there, or at least they're there, so they considered an option. They're not just Amazoning everything. Um, and D. Residents of the state who like to shop at malls. So C and D are really fighting for our uh, our views here, fighting for our choice. One focuses specifically on the city, and the sampling size is city and not state. So D is probably incorrect also because it's uh, representative of the state. So your answer to number 13 is C. When you do a sample set, it limits you based on the parameters that you've created. Uh, it also allows you to very pinpoint specific things, so li limiting you is not necessarily a bad thing. But here, we can't really know much about people who live near the mall because you actually have to go to it. Uh, and you're more focused on the city than you are the state just because you're limiting your sample size just to that city.